Hey up. Today I'm going to do an edit on a whole track using Cool Edit Pro. So try and follow along. I'm going to chop out a section uh, near the end here that um, I don't like and replace it with something from earlier on in the track. Um, this can be used on single tracks but I'm going to use it on the whole track. So let's just have a listen. This is the bit here. It's where um, Alistair the drummer plays uh, some nice tom things the first time, but it doesn't play it the second time, so I'm just going to copy and paste it. There. In the second half. It does it a little bit, but um, uh, I like that first bit, so I'm going to chop that into the track. So let's go into the multi track view with this little button in the corner, or F12. And then I'm going to insert it into the track. I'm just going to drag it across onto the timeline there. Right click to move it. I'm going to just identify the bits. Control and zoom wheel, uh, mouse wheel to zoom in. Where is it? There, I'm just going to go straight into there. There's a few different ways of doing this. Um, I think uh, I think I'm going to do uh, I'll do some crossfading on this. So I'm going to get another copy of that and insert it by just dragging it in. And chopping the bit out that I want, so I'm just going to mute that for a bit. There. Now, I don't have to be particularly accurate with this technique. You just find a spot just before you want to go in. That'll do. I'm going to uh, Control C to chop it, and then highlight that bit. And I've got Control X to delete because I've changed the buttons. But I think that's just delete. We find the other half of it. I'll chop it just after the event. Control, uh, sorry, Shift and C to chop. And then get rid of this bit. Uh, Shift and X for me. And I want this bit to be over here somewhere. I don't know where it is in this. So I'm going to mute the track that I'm just on and unmute that one. Spacebar to play. Oh, that'll lucky. <laughs> I'm going to zoom in and just use this bar to centralize myself. Just there. Uh, and I'm going to unmute this and I think I've lined them up properly. They, it looks similar to me, so I'm guessing it's fairly well lined up. Uh, not really, but that, that beat is the right beat. There. So I'm just going to make sure that these are spot on in time. So the, those kind of undulating peaks there, I'm gonna just going to right click and move that just so that they can line up. It doesn't have to be spot on, but it helps if they are. So let's move that a little bit more. About there. Now, I'm going to use something called crossfading. Crossfading is where, um, in the old days, you'd have two bits of tape. You'd chop, literally chop the tape diagonally, and the other tape diagonally, and then uh, the sounds would just sort of blend into each other as the uh, the tape would run across the uh, uh, the tape head. And this is what I'm going to do here. Uh, so I'm going to just use the automation so this is the volume automation at the top here and I think there's a button for that at the top here look show volume envelopes so without it you'll not see it but I've always got that on um, and that's just showing the volume so you can this is the automation section basically so I'm going to take that down and then that right up to the top 
and then I'm going to get the automation on here. I'm going to. I want that to disappear exactly there, and I'm going to take this one up here. So you can see it's it's like the old days where you use scissors and you chop, uh, you chop the tape and you put it together, splice them together using sticky tape. Let's hear how that sounds. I can't hear that. Let's try that again. And that'll do for me. That's pretty good. Uh, so the other side of it might come out of it funny. So let's have a listen. Oops, I didn't put that back up. Yeah, that's, we're going to have to do something there. So now, because we don't need any of this kind of stuff on the internals, I'm just going to chop it out. So I'm going to make a big selection like that by left clicking and dragging. And then I'm going to press uh, delete or shift X for me. So I've changed the, the, uh, the hotkeys and zoom in. Now that looks to me like it just needs to be over here visually, I'm talking about. Just a little line up visually. And where, where does it come out? there on that beat so that's the kind of beat I want to be aiming for so let's move me automation the volume automation there that looks pretty good I'm going to do some automating on here let's just take that down onto the same beat I'm not too sure about that. I would actually go on the snare beat, hear how that sounds, which is that beat there. Sometimes if the track's quite busy, I think there's a bit of a drum fill going on there, maybe guitar's doing something, it doesn't go over as smoothly, so I'm just going between beats here. That's not too bad. I heard a dip in volume though. So I'm just gonna um, go a little bit further back. Oh, not with that one. With this one. Because that's the track I want to hear. That's better. And I'm gonna just get rid of that a bit quicker. Maybe not, I don't work as well. That sounds pretty good. And you've got to go on sound with this, you can't just use your eyes. So let's have a listen to that whole chop. So the first one sounded like this. Where did that go? Here we go. And the second one goes... Just listen to that again. That sounds pretty good to me so there you go to mix that down you just uh, I'm just gonna go to, down to this button here first it's a zoom out full both axis so it just gives you the big picture of everything you go edit mix down to file all waves and then create a mix down of everything that you've got there 
there we go and then file save as now in here you can uh, save it as mp3 or any of these kind of things WAVs and I don't know, all sorts of different file formats I generally save it as a as a WAV which is near the bottom here PCM WAV um, in options you've got all sorts of different kinds of um, uh, selections here 24 bit 32 bit I don't know but I'm just doing uh, what it is loaded in at which I think is a 24 bit file so uh, and then I just name it and save it and that's it um, same with the mp3 if you go into the mp3 go to options you can have lots of different kinds of uh, kilobits per second and um, uh, I don't know, loads of different options there but I have it as 320 44.1 which is like normal stuff uh, but that's that okay if you've got any questions or comments about crossfading um, put them below and I'll try and answer them to uh, the best of my ability I uh, uh, hope you're doing alright and I'll, uh, I'll see you again real soon